crypto warning if this happens it might be over hello beautiful people shalom money makers i know that that was a very scary statement to open up the video but something's happening in the united states of america some of the rumors were true not true but it's a slippery slope and we'll talk about uh the unrealized gain tax yes and how that could affect the crypto market in a big way even if it is initially for people with over 100 million in assets right we'll talk about what's happening today what are the things that could affect the crypto market uh bitcoin shiba inu and all the rest all i ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good good vibes smishity smash that like button and let's get into it so currently we're seeing bitcoin still at 59,614, up one percent on the day so it seems like the massive sell-offs that we had a few days ago have subsided for now might have stopped <laughs> but it could be by the time you see this video it's either dumped or pumped i don't know it's pretty early in the morning i've been waking up a little bit earlier this week so um, you know, getting back to school and all that. Uh, and you can see that Bitcoin pumped, uh, sorry, not pumped, but got uh, supported at the red zone here at 58,000 and now has come back up. Uh, we saw Ethereum, uh, also the bleeding stop for Ethereum. And from the low, uh, Ethereum is up around 6-7% in the last two days. Uh, and as you can see here on the, on the chart, on the table, uh, everything is green. And if we go to the crypto bubbles, you can see there's a lot of green, still a little bit of a red, right? Still red here in the crypto market. I think a lot of people are, are still fearful, you know, with the, the fear dropping all the way to 29, right? So the market is still scared. It still wants to know where, where are we going, right? You think about this, Bitcoin is at six, almost 60,000 and the market is is scared, right? It's freaking out. Uh, and this is this this the situation that we're in at, right? Um, because there's a lot of uncertainty. You know, there's a lot of we'll, we'll talk about what could potentially happen with that unrealized gain tax in just a second. But people are afraid. People don't know when there's a uncertainty in the markets and there's uncertainty in the you know in the U.S. and there's uncertainty around the world. People will start freaking out. And <laughs> theoretically, right when there's turmoil, it should be good for crypto. But we've talked about this before, how because how people are currently investing in crypto, not as a hedge, right? They're not using it as a hedge like they use gold, right? Um, that when there's fear, there's big sell-offs, right? Or there's, a, or there's choppiness and uncertainty and the algos uh, that don't really trade gold because there's not a lot of volatility, but there's a lot of volatility in crypto and in Bitcoin and, and Ethereum and SHIB and every everything, right? And so they you know people create algos put money in and start trading and because of the volatility and and that's how they make their money um, so it's very important to remember that uh, when you're when you're looking into the crypto market and the daily choppiness and the daily grind uh, you have to remember that it's not easy right um, to to catch all these ups and downs okay so it's very important to remember that today we have the initial jobless claims if you remember a few weeks ago when job reports came out it it was kind of a, um, a whammy, right? It was a few things that were coming together. So we had the job numbers, we had the Japan situation, right? The, the Japan trade where they raised interest rates uh, and all that kind of created that um, big sell-off that we saw, uh, you know, stock market and crypto market. Um, and, you know, it's funny, the, the stock market for the most part was able to recover, right? If we look at the daily chart right it sold off and it took it it took a little bit right um you know how many days was it from for it to recover um about two weeks but remember stock market doesn't trade every day and crypto right it for example bitcoin bounced back pretty fast right not not exactly to the, the same level but it bounced back very fast and since then it's kind of been stuck it hasn't had that you know oomph that, that the stock market had. Uh, and so it will be interesting to see where it goes if, <coughs> if the job report, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> um, hope I'm not getting sick, uh, is uh, in line or better than expected and GDP uh, is good, then that could be positive in the market. We, we know for, for 
very, 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 very high probability, I think it's like 98%, uh, that he's going to, the federal chairman is going to be reducing interest rates. Um, so, so that's kind of off the table. But the question is, is it going to be a quarter or is it going to be a half a percent? And that could be significant. You gotta say, ah, what's a quarter of a percent? It's a lot of money for for big for big lo people that have loans and big loans. Uh, a quarter of a percent is a lot, right? So it could release a lot of pressure on U.S. household, on U.S. companies, and U.S. corporations, um, and and that could be big, right? And so we'll see what happens here. And also the PC index that is coming out. So maybe people are waiting for this. Maybe people are waiting for this. Uh, I'm talking about big money. You know, retail investors. Yes, maybe they'll be waiting for after the PC index comes out. But how many? Right, five thousand maybe. Right, even five thousand with with a you know a hundred thousand dollars each. It's it's not that you know a, a large amount of money. Um, you know, five hundred million. You know, it's it's a lot. But one hedge fund uh, that has 500 million, you know, is, is more than them, right? So it's it's a situation where we'll see where the, the crypto market will go after we get a little bit more information. But if we look at the chart, if we look at the rainbow, we're still, you know, in the, in the good times. We were creeping up to the the green times there, right? But we're, we're not even, you know, in the blue, we're back in the blue times. So, <laughs> um, do we know that we'll get to the red times? No, right? Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. Anybody that tells you, I know exactly what's going to happen is full of BS, right? People get things right. People get things wrong. I've seen, you know, on Twitter, some people that have been really successful in catching meme coins, for example, predicted Bitcoin top and things like that, predicted, you know, back in April, um, that this would be the, you know, in, in April, May, that this would be the bottom and we'd never see lower values and, and things like that. And now uh, people that were actually saying that we could see more turmoil along the way, um, you know, are, are coming back and, and posting on their posts. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, remember me, right? Things like that. And so uh, we, we're we still in the reaccumulation phase and we'll see what will happen with the crypto market uh, going forward. I just wanted to bring you this confession. There's a lot of good confessions, I know, and I always bring bad confessions, but I don't want to bring good confessions because I know that you guys see the good confessions and you see all the posts of people posting their profits, but most people won't post these stuff, right? And unless it's on a confession where it's anonymous, people won't post this stuff. So I, I think it's important to just remember um, this stuff, right? Um, someone confessed here, I round tripped on Bowdoin, which was a meme coin uh, about uh, President Biden, I think, right? From $1,000 to $178,000. Yesterday, I sold my bag for four k Profit is profit, right? This is another reminder that we can, to us, right that in this cycle we're going to try to take profits right because i keep seeing people talking about this that all especially people in the crypto market that their friends that are rich crypto rich are the ones that took profits right along the way and weren't afraid to sell along the way right and towards the top they took partial profits or you know and and either left it in, in USDT or USD uh, and didn't hold the bag. And the people that are still grinding and still trying to get out of it are people that are riding the cycles, but they keep riding the cycles in, in a way that it's not that they buy Bitcoin at the bottom and, you know, are, if you buy Bitcoin at the bottom every single time or you hold Bitcoin in four-year cycles, you're going to be up. Right. Uh, but a lot of people, what happens is they don't buy the bottoms, they buy the tops and then they're holding their bag and waiting for the next time. And then they freak out and they can't wait three years and they and they sell and then they do this and they make mistakes. And so I'm trying one of my goals is to where I can. Right. And where I want, I'm going to take a little bit of profit just to, you know, level the playing field a little bit. Um, you know, there's a, I have a famous story of someone I know that bought Tesla really early on and they sold half the bag, right? They took profits, but they sold half the bag. Now the other half is worth a lot of money, 
Uh, but at the time, they said to themselves, I, I'd rather take profit now, something that I already know uh, is, is happening. And that other 50%, let's see what happens with that, right? Sometimes it's successful, sometimes it isn't, right? And so he, but he had that 50% in his hand, he had the profit. And he could have put that 50% and that next 50% could have been NVIDIA. Maybe he did that, right? So you don't know what's going to happen with, with the cash. Right. So that's one of my goals in this uh, cycle. Now, let's get to the juicy part. Right. A lot of people are up in arms about uh, this situation here with Vice President Harris, new tax proposal. There was a lot of hoop hoopla on Twitter about this, um, raising the corporate tax rate. OK, not great. You're going to have a lot of corporations leaving the United States of America. Not great. Um, capital gain tax. From 20 to 44.6, no bueno, right? Not good. And this is what's getting, I, 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 would, I would be angry at this, right? <laughs> but most people are angry at the unrealized gains tax um, from zero to 25%. Now, it, in first, there wasn't the information that it's going to be only people with a net value of over $100 million. But even so, right? Even if it's only them, this would create massive, massive problems. Of course, this creates a problem. This creates a problem for the crypto market, right? Um, because if people want to pay taxes, now they have to pay 44% tax, which is crazy, right? Why would you, <laughs> why would you set, I mean, it's, it's, you know, this is, this is g g going into, you know, Sweden area and, and places that are very, very high taxes, right? Um, very, very left wing, right? Uh, and this one is crazy because even if, for example, let's say, and we'll get to the video in just a second because I want to show you this. And so um, even if we do get only people with 100 million profit or uh, value, right? There's a slippery slope. Soon if, if and I, I don't know what will happen in the future. I don't know if she wins, doesn't win. But if this happens, it's a slippery slope till they see all the money coming in and they'll be like, ooh, you know what? Let's let's do this also for regular Joes, right? Not 100 million. Then they'll bring it down to 50 million, then to 10 million, then to 5 million, right? It's a slippery slope. And even if they do leave it only 100 million, think about this. Let's say Bill Gates, I don't know. He has huge unrealized gains on his Microsoft shares. Well, now if he has to sell these shares because he has to pay taxes, He's going to have to sell it, right? Then he has huge capital gains because he's been holding since like 1988, <laughs> a lot of this. Uh, and then he's going to have to pay 44% tax. So he's going to have to sell a lot more just to pay these taxes. And he's going to sell his shares and he's probably going to dump the price of Microsoft. Same thing is potentially going to happen in crypto if we have big whales that suddenly... I know the Winklevoss Vins that they people know that they own a lot of Bitcoin, right? Suddenly the government will come to them and say, "Hey, we want we want all your unrealized gains, right? You bought Bitcoin, I don't know, at one thousand dollars. It's now at sixty six thousand dollars. Give us unrealized twenty five percent. We want twenty five percent for every Bitcoin. We want uh, sixty. Uh, uh, you you you're up sixty six fifty nine thousand, right? We want twenty five percent of that for every Bitcoin that you have. We want." Uh, 25% uh, of that's 60,000. So what do the Winklevoss twins have to do? They have to go and they, ha they don't have extra money. They have to go and sell the Bitcoin and then they have to, again, pay the capital gain tax. And then they, this is, it's, it's going to be, it's going to ruin the markets. Markets are going to tank. People are going to freak out. People are going to be leaving the U.S., right? <laughs> uh, people are going to get sick in citizenships. They're going to renounce, you know, even to renounce your U.S. citizenship is it, is it, is it, is it hard, right? Because when you do that, they make you pay taxes of what you would owe them if you ha would have to pay the taxes. If you didn't pay that, you have you have property, you have things. They want like, they want taxes like you sold everything, right? Um, so that's not easy as well. So even if individuals will want to leave the U.S. and get a different citizenship, uh, that's going to be a problematic because the U.S. doesn't want people really leaving and, and renouncing the U.S. citizenships. Um, so it's going to be a tricky situation. <laughs> now, he went on CNBC, the guy, part of her uh, campaign, right? And they ridiculed him about this. Let's take a listen. If you haven't seen it, it's it's crazy, right? 
Unrealized gains, taxing unrealized gains, just doesn't seem fair in any sense of the word. But in the I, very best sense, in, in the very look, best I, sense, if you are taxing unrealized gains, all you're doing is pulling forward the taxes that would be paid later when someone actually sells the stock. I, I, I think that this reaction to unrealized gains is a little funny, given that I bet that the majority of people watching right now are already paying a tax on unrealized gains. It's called a property tax. Property tax. When the value property of your home goes up, that's an when, old. It's a use tax. When, 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 when the value of your home goes up, you pay it's higher tiring. taxes, even if and you don't sell your go, home. It, your value of your home never moves the way the a stock same. moves, the way something that's else moves. That's always the go-to answer. Sell. It's also property tax is a use tax. You're paying for school, for the schools. You're paying for emergency services. Those are things that make absolute sense. And, and sure, and all the all the revenue that comes in from these unrealized gains taxes and the other pa taxes in the tax in the Harris plan are going to go to what creating what she calls more opportunity. It's to make sure but that every newborn born in this country gets $6,000. the services. Well, look, I, I, you're, you're arguing that this is some sort of foreign concept that's completely uh, unknown well, in the U.S. tax code. It's probably not unconstitutional. It's probably, and, it, and it was never in, in anyone's intent to, it's not to, income. to not, tax. It's not an income tax. And it's never going to happen, probably. Not in, not in, well, my, I'm not going to say my life. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> not in Becky's <laughs> life. <laughs> Yeah. I don't see how they would even pass it Congress, you know, <laughs> all the lobbyists, every, everybody's going to shoot this down. It's never going to, it's never, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, but it's creating, it's terrible for her. She's like going after the weaker, you know, uh, bracket of people, you know, oh, we'll, we'll take from the rich and we'll give to the poor, right? Things like that. But most Americans are invested and they look at this and they're saying, well, if I make money, uh, maybe they're going to take on. It's just <laughs> I don't get it. It's one of the biggest mistakes that co that campaign could have made, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe she wins. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be very interesting uh, to say the least. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this whole situation? The unrealized uh, tax gains there. And, you know, it, it will be very, in my opinion, it's going to be bad for crypto. But we'll see. You know, crypto, again, is a is an international thing. Not everything comes down in the end to the U.S., but. I, th I don't I don't think this I, I don't see a silver lining how this could be a good thing for the crypto market. Um, so so we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, along the way in the next uh, few months going into November and December. Of course, not financial advice. You should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.